This week, I'm winding down after episode 100 and taking it easy with another look at one of my personal favourite characters, the vampiric Decepticon accountant, Ratbat. The original Ratbat toy was first released in the third year of the Transformers toy line in 1986. He was one of the line's many mini cassette figures, transforming from a bat robot into a cassette tape that could fit inside the Decepticon cassette player Soundwave, and he was sold in a two-pack with fellow Decepticon tape Frenzy. The profile for Ratbat, penned by Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky, assigned him the function of Decepticon Fuel Scout, who used chemical sensors in his wings to locate energy resources. He was a self-serving, business-minded little bot who valued personal profit over friendships and loved to sink his fangs into the gas lines of brand new high-end cars and suck them dry. Now, this profile was largely ignored by the original Transformers animated series. The cartoon treated Ratbat the same way it did all the animal form cassette Transformers like him, less like a sapient being and more like an actual animal who couldn't speak and who was subservient to Soundwave, functioning primarily as a spy and information gatherer for him. It was in this capacity that Ratbat made his media debut in the Japanese exclusive direct-to-video episode Scramble City, snooping on the Autobots as they constructed their new battle fortress. Western audiences were introduced to the character in The Transformers The Movie, and he went on to appear in the subsequent third season of the animated series, spying, scouting for resources, and joining his fellow animal Transformers in battling the energy beast Tornadron. The continued availability of Ratbat's toy in 1987 ensured that he also appeared in that year's Japanese original sequel cartoon, The Headmasters, still serving as his master's spy of choice. In the Marvel comic book, on the other hand, Budiansky was able to depict Ratbat in accordance with his profile and, in the process, took the character to remarkable heights. No mere animal, Marvel's Ratbat was a fully sapient Decepticon, capable of speech and unconnected to Soundwave, who served as the Decepticon's fuel auditor on Cybertron, managing their usage of the precious resource. Dissatisfied with the inefficient use of fuel by Shockwave's Decepticons on Earth, Ratbat began micromanaging their operations and would eventually come to the planet to oversee their activities firsthand. While there, in one of the comic's most memorably offbeat stories, Ratbat used hypnotic car washes to mesmerize humans into surrendering the contents of their vehicle's gas tanks voluntarily, but he was foiled by the Autobot's human ally Buster Witwicky. Following Shockwave's apparent death, Ratbat seized his position as Decepticon leader and enjoyed a very successful tenure, his efficient leadership style securing more victories than just about any other Decepticon commander in the comic. But with the discontinuation of his toy in 1988, Ratbat's winning streak came to an end. After successfully locating the ancient Cybertronian database, the Underbase, Ratbat attempted to take its vast cosmic power for himself, only to be betrayed by Decepticon headmaster leader Scorponok, who shot him in the back and killed him. The enduring popularity of Soundwave and his cassettes has meant that Ratbat has continued to make fairly regular appearances in new Transformers toy lines and media in the 21st century, with some stories basing their depiction of him on the cartoon, some on the comic, and some finding ways to blend the two very different takes on the character together. Dreamwave Productions, for instance, conceived the idea that Ratbat had once been a regular, full-size humanoid Transformer and only became an animal later in life. As seen in the 2003 comic book miniseries War Within – The Dark Ages, Dreamwave's Ratbat was once the leader of the breakaway Decepticon faction, the Ultracons, during Cybertron's Dark Ages millions of years ago. But by the present day, he had shed his humanoid form and taken on his bat cassette body, though sadly the company went out of business before this change could be properly explained. 
A toy inspired by Dreamwave's humanoid Ratbat was released in the Transformers Universe toy line in 2008, which transformed into an alien spacecraft and came in a two-pack with the Autobot Springer. IDW Publishing also explored the idea that Ratbat had once been a regular Transformer when they introduced the character into the world of their comics in the 2007 miniseries Megatron Origin. IDW's Ratbat was originally a senator in the days before the war who deliberately fostered political and social unrest on Cybertron so that he could reap the profits. To this end, Ratbat sent his agent Soundwave to provide weapons to the underground revolutionary Megatron. But the resulting unrest was more than Ratbat had bargained for, as Megatron convinced Soundwave to join his forces and declared war. In the chaos that followed, the Decepticons slaughtered the Senate, and Soundwave tore out Ratbat's spark and implanted it into a new cassette body turning his corrupt boss into his servant. Millions of years later, after the war had come to an end, Ratbat returned to his old tricks, manipulating the Autobots and the Decepticons in an effort to seize power, only to wind up being assassinated by RC. A toy based on IDW's Senator Ratbat was released exclusively in the Japanese market as part of the Transformers Generations toy line in 2013, which transformed into a recon jet. The dated nature of Ratbat's classic alternate mode has also led to attempts to update his form for the modern era. Like the Ratbat of Transformers Animated, introduced in 2009, who transformed into a keytar synthesizer as part of the series' emphasis on Soundwave's connection to sound and music. The animated cartoon, which to date marks Ratbat's only appearance on television since the 80s, echoed the original cartoon by portraying him as a mindless animal and saw Soundwave use him in alternate mode to generate a hypnotic musical signal that placed the Autobots under his control, until Optimus Prime went all Pete Townsend on him. Introduced in the 2010 novel Transformers Exodus, the Ratbat of the Aligned Continuity was a member of the race of tiny Transformers known as Minicons. A corrupt, profit-motivated politician like the IDW character, he acted as representative for his people on Cybertron's High Council until the war broke out, whereupon he sided with the Decepticons. Though when the alien Quintessons invaded Cybertron in the sequel novel Retribution, Ratbat was quick to sell out to them to save his own skin. Alternate modes used by this version of the character included a Cybertronian data disc in the Generations toy line in 2012, and a Cybertronian torpedo in 2015's Robots in Disguise, with both toys featuring quick one-step transformations. Other notable incarnations of Ratbat have included the version of the character from the live-action movie universe, one of Soundwave's animal minions featured in tie-in comics and storybooks, and the heroic Ratbat from the mirror universe of Shattered Glass, where instead of an evil accountant, he was a self-help guru and motivational speaker by day, and prowled the rooftops of Cybertron as the vigilante Batbot by night. Other toys of the original Ratbat have included a high-end collector-targeted masterpiece figure of his original cassette form released in 2014, and his most recent new figure from 2019's War for Cybertron Siege toy line, which reimagined his cassette mode as simply being an armored shield. Lastly, Ratbat isn't Soundwave's only Bat-themed minion. Back in 1990, the Action Master Soundwave figure came packaged with Wing Thing, an eagerly evil little bat-winged gargoyle robot who converted into a concussion cannon for his master. In the 2010s, it's become common for new toys of Ratbat to be recolored in orange as new versions of Wing Thing, an economically efficient reallocation of resources that I'm pretty sure Ratbat would approve of. And those are the basics on Ratbat. Give the little bloodsucker some love down in the comments. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe for more Transformers history and lore, and ring the bell to be notified about future videos, like the Patreon-sponsored episodes we've got coming up next time.